Hi, I'm DeAndre and this is my two buddies, Christian and Lucas, and we're here to show you how to make a Viet Cong trap. During the Vietnam War, the Viet Cong forces used these traps against our American troops. We're here to show you the steps and to demonstrate the easy ways to make a Viet Cong trap. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to begin with two blocks of 2x4, at least a foot long. A black string that's going to sit there and hold both blocks together, but it doesn't need to be a string or cord. It can be any kind of material, rough enough, and um, just enough to be able to sit there and hold those two blocks together when someone steps on it. We're going to use this guarding tool to dig our hole, and they originally used bamboo for these Viet Cong traps, but in our environment right now, in our surroundings, we don't have bamboo, so our next best thing is going to be nails that's going to be driven in from this hammer into these two by fours. So what we want to do is place the wood down on something flat, something sturdy, and we're going to want to drive these nails in. So come out like this, and your ending product should look a little bit like that. This will be your ending result. Our next step is to grab your cord or fabric that's going to connect these two blocks. So the string, you're going to sit the want onto the length of a human foot so that you can put over your hole. Measure out, essentially going to sit there and want it just about right here. After you get your measurement and your string, you want to grab a knife, go ahead and cut it. Take both of these, put them down on the ground, flat. You're going to want to put them over here. And you're going to want to drive a nail through each side of one. I sew on the right, and same on the left. Now that we constructed the trap, my buddy DeAndre is going to show you where to dig the hole and how to find the camo for it. Now that the trap is made, you want to find an easy camouflage area to place your trap. This is a very good camouflage area. Now that you find your area, you're going to want to dig a foot long, foot deep hole. When you dig, you want to get rid of the loose dirt so you throw it off somewhere. We cannot be seen. Now that you have your trap made and your hole dug, I'm going to demonstrate how the trap works. Remember, it is not fully camouflaged yet, and I have the spikes on the opposite end for safety purposes. These will collapse into your foot and into your shin, and the spikes will sit there and penetrate. Now that the trap is made, my buddy Lucas here is going to try to find camouflage. Now to camouflage it, first off you want to make sure they're spaced out, want to make sure that string is nice and tight in between the hole. Really the only thing you got to do, get kind of the foliage around it, you just want to camouflage it in so it looks natural. You don't want to make it look like there's planks of wood hanging out. Put some dirt on there, whatever you need to do to make it look natural in its environment. Now that it's been properly camouflaged, if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't be able to see it. Now, for this trap to really work, you're going to want to have them scattered all over your field or area, wherever you're doing it. Because having multiple scattered around, you'll have a much higher chance of someone getting trapped in it than just having one over here. Thanks for watching our video on how to make a Viet Cong trap. We hope you learned something. Remember, this is a way, a method, that our enemy used against us in the Vietnam War. Now that you guys know, Maybe you guys could apply the same thing. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.